Okay, some thoughts on trucking. Um, there's probably gonna be better people to teach you rocking on the guitar on this kind of blues song. Uh, blues is probably my weakest point, but I'm gonna show you the things, that, at least the elements that I use for trucking. So you have this. So that's, it's your E, your, your E note. So it sounds like So the initial thing is this I went right to this. So this, this is all based around the, you know, it's on the 12th fret here with the bar. That would be a G, but here's your, E minor, right? The other thing it is, is right here's your E, right? So, whether you're doing sort of the bluesy uh, E minor thing, or just going up the E chord itself. So this is, if you look at the, you know, the four, four, one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, of a, you know, the very simple. In this one, you've got this, you're bending the uh, 15th of the B string, the second string. Now that, that kind of run there, this, that's kind of set for me, but this can be. You know, whatever it is, play with the blues. Okay, so we have this. Now I'm gonna show you a little licks, you know. You know. I would say the most important part of this song is this. Is to keep the shuffle going. That, you know, this is trucking. Got my chips cashed in. Keep trucking. Like the two dog man. Together. More or less in line. Just keep trucking on. So this E A B for this So I'm going from the E 
to the A. Okay, so one of the things that's kind of nice, if you think of the Chuck Berry tunes, you know, they've got that, that pinky on there. That's kind of what's happening with this E. You've got the... I found that for me, smaller hands, that the holding the E like this and then having this pinky try to get over was really hard for me. So what I did is I just hold the, you know, if you look at what an E is on the top three strings, the six, five, four, it's just a zero, one, one, you know, open first fret, uh, sorry, two, two. First fret, ugh, can't talk, open, Second fret, second fret. That's you know your E. So that's what's happening on the six five four string. So if you just hold that, you get this. You get a lot more. play with the bass line there. So you have this E. Trucker, babe, trucking, A. Dog man, B. Big place to go. Just keep trucking. Now, I want to point out that the E and the A are a little bit different than the B in terms of the, the, the pulsing. Then it has a, it kind of stops on the B. It doesn't keep going. There's a little bit, that's a little bit too shuffly. So it, the, when, the, when it hits the B, it has this, that kind of heraldic thing. So it sounds like this. three, four, and then up to the E on the um, fourth string, second fret, so. And then just the five, four, two on the uh, uh, fifth string. Okay, now. While uh, the Bob uh, verse is going, you, you, there's a lot of things you can do. You can just, uh, there's no need to tap my feet on the main street. You can just kind of keep the. You can have all kind of. partials of things. You can have this, um, this. You can throw little lines off of the end of things. Uh, there's all kinds of ways to approach that. I used to always do this. Uh, mm -hmm. 
I did that kind of thing. And then I realized that all I was doing there was mimicking the, uh, you know, Arizona kiss and Chicago, no, Detroit, and sold it down. Typical city involved in a typical day. And I realized that it's kind of stupid to double the line when the, that's what the voice is doing. So it's easy enough to just kind of. Just any kind of, uh, you know, shuffling thing underneath it. And then you can also do the, um, you know, here's some neon and flashing my keys down on Main Street. You know, throwing a little uh, line after it. You know, that kind of stuff. Um, so uh, then, of course, after the, the Bob version, you have this, the, the full band. There's a lot of different little blues licks, but they're basically, here's your E and your... That's, that's the simplest sense, is that you're sliding into the... Hitting the notes of the E. So you're sliding from this first fret. So you have this, uh, you know. Pick a place to go, just keep choking on. So it's, it's this A, G, F sharp, A, and then the second time it adds the D underneath it. The times I can barely A, B, F sharp, A, and then it goes back to the D. Okay, so. flattening it out to pick up that that B again now there's a lot of controversy about whether on the way down times it to, whether that's an, a B minor so let me play it for you both ways and you can decide yourself sometimes the lights all shine on with the B minor coming from the D. Now I'm going to do it with the full B coming from the D. So we're going to Sometimes the light's all shining on Other times I can barely see
So, uh, either way, whether it's a or B minor, you get to this F, the flourish is just a B, and then A, and then down to E. Now, So um, this I'm bending to that note there to the full G sharp. That's a walk down this It's the same walk down as that. This one's somehow awkward for me. Whereas this one, even though it's a bigger stretch, somehow it's easier to grab it. It's, you know, obviously here's your E. You know, here's your E. Here's your E. And here's your E. Between those two forms of the E. Okay, uh, just a little bit more to say on this song. So um, after the okay, let's talk about this. So this is this is an ascending line where, uh, I, you know, th this is basically here's your E seven, that's kind of what what's Bobby starting out with. Jerry's starting right here in the middle. This is the nine and the seven. Nine on the uh, fourth string and seven on the third. Progression You know, we're just moving We're just moving down, you know Two has to Now when I move up to Bob person moves up to here. Then when I move up to here, this again is your E. The Bob person moves so that so that those are happening at the same time. So he's chasing behind one thing. In the same way as um, as uh, And when Bobby goes, Bobby Jerry moves up, to, moves up to the Bobby part. There's a kind of a chasing, so that the the pieces move together. So in this case, when Jerry moves up here, Bobby moves to the place Jerry was last. When Jerry moves up here, Bobby moves to here.
just the just the uh, 17 and the 19 here. I'm just just raking across it and getting it dirty for the for the signaling of the uh, going into the, the boom. Okay, so basically the thing that happens is when it gets to this, there's a momentary pause and then a So if I did it exactly on the time, it'd be But there's a micro pause before the boom, so it's a exaggerating a little bit but I want you to see it there's this kind of pause where everyone and then when everyone hits it and Phil hits the you know the deep B bombs and things on this six string bass or whatever so yeah this got this E. This is a B minor, you know, this is your B minor, a E, just like you'd have in, you know. But you're just sliding. Okay. One last thing that I kind of want to throw in here is this. Here's your, I was just doing the E7. Sorry, not that song. But this is your um, E7 right here. And here it is again. Up here, so here's your E. Here's your E7. Just like here's your D, E7, uh, D7. So here's your D. D sharp, E, E7, E, E7. Now all we're doing is we're going up 12 frets from here, you know. So this is your E7. This is the E7, and this is the, from the E here. That's your basic kind of, you know, Chuck Berry thing. So. So this is, E7, E, A, E. to uh, he's gone the other one or nobody's fault but anyway uh, those are just some thoughts on trucking um, that's that's you know a lot of it is just keeping that groove going and if if you have to sacrifice if you have to sacrifice you know cool little riffs and 
If you have to let all that go and just keep the That's about all I have to say on trucking. Um, I, that's it. I'm done. Just some quick thoughts and then I'll knock over my phone.